Hello, welcome to May. A handful of great features here this month, including one of the most powerful features we've released up to date. So let's just jump right in. It is a new day for Zoom events. We know that virtual events are so much hard work, but unfortunately for a whole lot of event hosts, the value of our sessions end with that big red button that ends the session. And we, we want to change this. So we are introducing AI content generation with Zoom events. You can now target your event and webinar recordings and create email content, social posts, blog posts, and even longer form sales briefs that are targeted at specific audiences, all without leaving the events platform. We are so excited to get this feature out and into the hands of our customers. And uh, we, can't, we can't wait to see all the great things that you create. Be sure to check out our, our fuller video focused just on this, introducing Content Gen for a more complete demo and lots more content uh, around this feature coming soon. But uh, dive right in, check it out. Uh, this will absolutely enhance your workflow uh, immediately, I would think, for a whole bunch of us event hosts out here. Second feature today, Smart Session Upload is a great feature for multi-session events. Now, all you need to create a full agenda, full session listing is a document of some sort. And I know, I know, I know you have a spreadsheet somewhere with a whole bunch of sessions listed out or a Word doc or a Zoom doc where you're dumping all kinds of this information. Well, now Smart Session Upload can take that document, extract the appropriate details and build out your sessions for you. So let's take a look at how it works. Here we go. We take our simple document, upload it, and there are all of our sessions, including speakers. And if we jump over to the speaker tab, then we can match up our speakers with their speaker images if we've already uploaded them. Super, super simple process. Uh, we hope that you as an event host find this uh, easy and helpful. And AI is now available throughout the events platform. It helps build sessions, add speaker images, create your registration flows, and even generate text and images. And like I just said, content. Uh, well after the well after the session now. So um, with that, with all of these features, we can really see that Zoom Events is truly an AI powered event platform. And we think that this uh, really makes us distinct in the, in the market for you. Promo codes and offers are a great way for you to drive registration for your ticketed events. Now you can embed those promo codes directly in the registration links for your use when you're promoting your various offers. My favorite example here is the always prevalent early bird promo code. Now you can grab the promo code link, spread it far and wide and drive those early registrants. Anyone who uses this link will end up on your landing page, see the code already applied to your, your pricing, if that's what you're doing, and have that correct offer uh, applied throughout the registration process. We know this will help you drive uh, conversions and increase your ticket sales. So start using these links today. They're easy. Just go grab them. Custom captions for Simulive events have been released. So now you can provide clear and accurate captioning for your audience when using Simulive. We all know that you uh, can use AI. You can lean on our AI generated uh, automatic captions, but those don't always capture everything exactly the way that you want. So now we can edit those transcripts after the fact with things like correct names, maybe a specific nomenclature for your industry or your company. Uh, maybe you have specific uh, jargon that uh, AI always struggles maybe to pick up. Well, now you can download that transcript, clean that all up and re-upload it to attach to that recording. This makes sure that your audience receives uh, the message that you intended them to receive. So um, custom captions, this is also really nice. Custom captions also support multiple language uploads. So this is a great feature paired with Simulive. It's very, very powerful. You can rerun uh, Simulive events, rerun those uh, content recordings as live sessions and uh, offer off your accurate captioning. So this will be super helpful for a ton, a ton of our use cases out there. So let us know uh, your experience with that for sure. A simple but nice update, multi-session events now include our new speaker information modal. We released this uh, UI enhancement a little while ago, but now it's support, it is supported in multi-session. So 
when clicking on speakers, instead of opening a new a slide out or a new page, uh, it opens in a nice simple centered window, leaves them right, uh, leaves your attendees right where they're supposed to be, where they can learn more about that speaker and then even navigate, find other sessions and uh, yeah, explore, explore the event however they uh, they want to. So this is a cleaner interface overall. We think it looks really nice and um, I know it's going to make your uh, attendees uh, happy and probably you happy as well. Two more uh, features to go. Last month, we saw the introduction of the homepage for video management. We have released Video CMS this year, and it's growing in popularity and uh, growing in functionality as well. So now uh, from the homepage, hosts can now view, manage, and reply to comments on their on-demand video content. We believe here that engagement drives engagement. And now your recordings and video content can take on a life of their own uh, with Video CMS. Put in all the hard work, run a great looking session, move it to on demand and drive traffic towards that on demand. But the conversation doesn't have to stop. Comments, reactions, threaded comments even um, are all there and available for you. And now right from the homepage, you can view all of that and engage with your audience in that way. So check that feature out. Uh, start exploring it today. You will need an advanced video CMS license. So talk to your talk to your sales rep about that. Final update. Thank you to our customers for this change. A lot of a lot of recommendations here on the post event experience. And we've done some uh, tidying up. We've cleaned up a few things. So first off, we've removed the ability to watch recordings from the registration landing page. We found that was a, a little bit of a clunky, confusing experience for attendees that didn't, didn't seem to work with uh, most people's use cases. So we've removed that and we've cleaned up the language uh, in the registration area as well, removing some unnecessary elements like test your test your Zoom device. Yeah, it doesn't, that's not uh, applicable anymore once uh, once you move to on-demand. And we've added a nice, clean, simple CTA button that says watch on-demand. So we want to make it easier for your attendees to engage with your content. Well, after the fact, you've seen this theme again and again the past few months. And uh, uh, no surprise, you will see more and more features coming for this post-event on-demand experience. We know that a lot of our value happens after the live live session. So I suspect that we'll see lots and lots more features uh, in this area as the year the year progresses. So thank you for watching. Be sure to go catch Introducing Content Generation with Zoom Events for that full demo. It's a very exciting dynamic feature that uh, may make your jaw drop just a little. So as always, be sure to check out our full list of release notes at support.zoom.com. Otherwise, have a great week. Thank you uh, for choosing Zoom Events. Thank you.